Today we're playing Catan. What you need to set up for Catan is these outlines of the board so they can connect together and you just have to build one really big hex. And then once you have that, you fill in the big hex with the small hexes. Each hex earns you a resource. For example, hills give you brick. Fields give you wheat. Pasture give you sheep. Uh, mountains give you rock. Forests give you wood. And desert is nothing. And then over here we have the numbers. So on the map you'll place the numbers on the board. And then once you have them set up, you roll. Let's say I rolled an 11. If I had a settlement on the 11, I would collect a brick. Now let's talk about the things you can build. You can build a road, which equals a wood and a brick. You can build a settlement, wood, brick, wheat, sheep. Or you can build a city, two wheat, three rock, or a development card, wheat, sheep, rock. Now let's talk more about roads. In order to build a settlement, you need two roads connecting from... Now let's go back to the roads. You cannot build another settlement until you have two roads. I cannot build like that. I will have to build another road and then a settlement. And once you have five roads in a row, you get longest road. And it's a bonus two victory points. Victory points are how you win the game. You need 10 victory points to win. So with this setup, cities count as two, settlements count as one, that's three, and four, five, that's five. So you're halfway there. The next thing you can build is a settlement. If you have a settlement on a hex and an 11 rolls, I have a settlement on 11, so I get a brick. The next thing you can build is a city. A city is an upgrade from a settlement, so you can't just build a, settle a city right here. You have to put it on a settlement and take the settlement off. A city is worth two victory points, while a settlement is only worth one victory point. If you have a city on a number and that number is rolled, you pick up two resources instead of one. The last thing you can build is a development card. A development card, you can pick up a victory point. You can pick up a knight, which we'll get back to later, or you can pick up a green card. So there's many different kinds of green cards and they just help you win the game. Before we talk about the knight cards, we need to talk about the robber. Let's say a seven is rolled. I can move the robber here. Now, when the, another 11 is rolled, he does not pick up two brick. He picks up zero. And then back to the knights, if you play a knight card, you can move the robber wherever you want. So if you play three knights or more, you get the largest army, which also equals two victory points. And remember, you need 10 victory points in total to win. Have fun.